Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Bean, and welcome back to another show, another video, and a brand new episode. And yo, you're now rocking with the best word up. Shout out to everybody who came by and watched my previous video. If you didn't, of course, the link is in the description. You get a chance to go click on it, go check it out. Yo, shout out to uh, the new subscribers that we got. Shout out to my man Shaq. Yo, he came by and watched me on the live stream a couple days ago, probably about a week or so ago. I was getting bodied on Street Fighter Five, and he was helping me out uh, with with Ken or whoever I was playing with. He was helping me out right there. So uh, shout out to my man Shaq. Really appreciate that. Shout out my man Smash. Me and him was chopping it up the other day on the Xbox One because uh, we hadn't kicked it in a while. So I had to chop it up with my man Smash. So shout out to you, Smash. Word up. So how's everybody doing out there? How's everybody, you know, did y'all enjoy your Thanksgiving? Did you get to, get to eat all the turkey, the ham, the greens, the beans, tomatoes, tomatoes, or whatever? You name it. You feel me? Did you get to do all that? I hope you did. I hope you got a belly full. I hope that you was thankful for the stuff that you got or didn't get or whatever. So did you guys go out there and do some Black Friday shopping? I sure didn't because I ain't going to front. I, I ain't balling like that. Kind of had a setback since you guys do know. Most of you guys do know I was out sick for a while, so I missed, you know, missed about a month and a half of work. So that kind of set me back, you know, got to pay my bills stuff first. So you know what I mean? But I should be back on my feet next month, so everything will be all straight and be all gravy. I just wish I could have went out there and got that PS4 Pro and got a couple of games. But, hey, the game's, the game's going to be there. The PlayStation Pro is going to be there. It is what it is. You feel me? So, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the, today's topic. Not going to be too long on here, at least I don't think I will be. But I just want to ask you guys a question, man. Do you guys, are you guys having fun gaming? You know what I'm saying? I mean, the reason why I ask this question, uh, after, becoming, after becoming a YouTube uh, content creator, I've noticed over the past year or so, God, boy, gaming hasn't been as fun as it was before I started creating content. Not saying that my content is great or it's the best thing going on in the world, but the reason being, it kind of reason being and the reason why i say this is because i've gotten open to more of watching other people's youtube channels like some of my favorite channels my man the left-handed monkey i love the left-handed monkey miss k she she always be riding my man jimmy b you know what i'm saying he be doing his thing and so forth and so on but push your nose aside uh as far as watching youtube uh, content creators as they make videos um the thing that it kind of is kind of soured my taste on gaming is not the fact that the games have been crap. Some of the games have been mediocre, but it's the fact that when I watch certain YouTubers, it is just that they are blatantly lying about games. And I'm sitting here like, not even games themselves. Well, games too. That does fall in that. But lying about games or their favorite hardware. You know, just an example, either PlayStation or or the Xbox. So when I sit here and listen to these guys, I'm like, why are y'all lying about these these consoles? It's one thing to have a console war and to sit there and say, hey, I prefer Xbox or I prefer PlayStation. Full disclosure here, this generation, I prefer the PlayStation over the Xbox One. I just think the PlayStation is a better console this generation. That's just my opinion. But nonetheless, these companies don't don't care nothing about any of us. The only thing they care about is getting our product, getting their products in our homes and for us to spend our money to pay for their product. That's the only thing they really care about. But people almost like live and die for whatever console they prefer. And I'm sitting here like, wow, this is the dumbest thing ever in my opinion. But it kind of soured me on games. I, I mean, I, it kind of soured me on playing games because um, even just to promote their own agenda, the propaganda that they, that they, that they will you know, spew out of their mouth after making this content. And sometimes they do it, they do it because they believe in it, or B, they do it because they know they're gonna get views for it. Either way, it's wrong. But they'll sit there and overrate a game that is not that good, that the general masses say, hey, yo, it ain't that good. So why you keep saying this game is a nine out of 10 when the general masses are even telling you, hey, this game's a seven. Now, granted, your opinion is what, what matters most when it comes to purchasing a game or your enjoyment of a game or enjoyment of a console. But when you sit here and listen to it constantly over and over again, and I'm the dummy who keeps picking on, who keeps uh, selecting these YouTube channels to go back and listen to them. But I listen to them because I, I'm, I'm really curious about how outrageous can these people be? How can you continuously 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 to lie and continuously to sit there 
and spread your propaganda. That to me absolutely makes no sense. And they will keep going, but they'll never rebut you about it. I'm not even seeing anybody getting into a debate, but when you call them out wrong, they, they won't say nothing else about it. They won't even say that they're wrong, but yet they'll still ride for that piece of plastic for that company. And that thing, that, that to me, it bothers me. It bothers me more so that it's really grown men, men my age. In case y'all didn't know, I'm 40 years old. So if that turns you off that I'm 40, I'm glad to be 40. You know, there's a lot of people out there who I grew up with did not make it to 40. They didn't get out of their 20s. And some people that you out there that you probably rolling with right now may not make it out of their 20s. So, hey, yo, I'm thankful to be 40. So, you know what I'm saying? But they're, they're grown men my age, and they're lying about a piece of plastic. And, and the thing is, what bothers me the most about it is that the young people, some of the young people who will listen to their advice and tell their parents, hey, yo, you know, it's Black Friday coming up. So-and-so recommended this game. I heard this game was really good. Can you please buy this for me or buy this console for me? And then when they get it and it's not as good as you pretend like it was, they ain't got no other recourse to go back to get back at you. They can be mad or they're going to sit there and lie to themselves and say, hey, this is a lot better game or a lot better console than what I really believe it is. Because some people may not have the money to ball out like like you like understand this that gaming consoles is an expensive hobby it's not cheap if it was cheap then everybody would be in it although there's millions of people that are in it but you get all the stuff to really flesh stuff out like you want from the graphic fidelity from now going up to 4k buying the latest gen once uh, the latest current gen system i mean i know they're cheaper now than what they were at launch but they still a pretty penny some people can't afford all that you know what i'm saying so they're going off of your advice and people aren't fortunate like me who have a job Whereas I can pretty much throughout the whole year buy games that I want. I can pretty much buy all the games that I want. They may only have to buy a game two or three times a year like I was when I was a kid. I used to, at Christmas time, I used to stack up and rack up on games. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time I really could get them. And they had to last me throughout, you know, throughout the year outside of renting games. So, but these people be leading people astray and be lying. And I'm sitting there like, wow. I was sitting up here literally lying to people on YouTube about video games. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's crazy. And so sometimes the games, like when I get there, it's just like, oh God, I don't even want to play the video game now. I just kind of just want to watch TV and watch the NFL like I'm doing right now, watch the NBA when it's on. But I mean, I still game and all that stuff like that, but sometimes it just leaves a sour taste in my mouth when I hear people lie about games. That's just my opinion. I was just curious, do you guys ever feel that way? Is gaming fun anymore Is or is it just, you know, is it just something to talk about so you can add drama to it, so you can enjoy the entertainment value behind the drama? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm still going to keep gaming. Hey, I done bought all this equipment in my world, keep gaming. So anyway, didn't want to make a long video. Didn't want to make a super serious video. Just wanted to make a video just to ask y'all questions. And I hope you're enjoying the Street Fighter gameplay in the background because I was straight balling with Rashid. Even though I didn't know what I was doing, I was just pressing buttons. So um, hope you enjoy it. Well, anyway, it's your boy King Bean. And I'll holler at you dudes later, man. One love. Peace.